Welcome to the Black Magic booth at NAB 2022. We've got some exciting announcements at the show this year. It's been a long time since we've seen you all. We're going to be talking about the cloud um, and also as well Black Magic cloud storage. So Blackmagic has announced um, both an online cloud service for sharing of projects and libraries, and then we've also developed a number of hardware cloud storage devices which are high-speed um, network storage, um, ranging from the Blackmagic um, Cloud Pod um, through to the um, Blackmagic Cloud Mini, and then up to the, the fully blown um, Blackmagic Cloud Store. Okay, so, so let's look at a typical scenario, something that would happen on a daily basis. We've just gone out into the field, we've just shot all of our footage. We have that saved onto a USB-C drive. That USB-C drive is then connected into the pod. Um, pod is powered by a 12 volt power supply. And that pod is then connected to our, um, to our laptop. What we are then able to do is interface that USB-C drive that's connected via that pod to our cloud services and through Dropbox and able to share all of that footage. So you could be sat back at your home or you could be sat back in an office and you could log into a project that I've created on my laptop. Um, I can share the read-write um, processes via Dropbox with you for that content and you would ultimately be able to see all of that content that I've shot in real time by, by utilizing that pod as a bridge and, and Dropbox as a bridge to be able to um, view all of that footage. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is, this is about making sure that we allow every different type of user who is creating content to be able to have a process of sharing their footage. So whether it's a single user in a remote location or whether or not it's a post-production facility where you have um, high-speed network storage across a, a larger environment, really what we're trying to do is create solutions for each of those different types of users. So the pod is perfect for um, an independent user who's out in the field, but also it's maybe a news cutter. Somebody who is editing news needs to share that footage quickly. Um, it really is about consolidating your, um, your hardware down into the smallest possible um, package um, to be able to utilize that cloud service that we, we offer. Yeah, so the, so the starting point with a terabyte um, cloud store mini is, is that it has internal storage built in. You know, clearly the name is obvious. It's an eight terabyte storage device, um, and that's RAID Zero. Um, the, the purpose of this now is that you can start to save all of your footage locally onto that device and sync that with Dropbox. Um, it is, um, uh, it is a, again, a high-speed network transferring device that integrates and works with our cloud service. Um, but this is all about now working with um, how much storage do you want to work with. Um, again, it's, um, it's a very small, consolidated, condensed unit. Um, it means that it works beautifully on a desktop, um, works well with a laptop or an iMac. Um, and this is, as you say, in terms of the the teams that maybe you're working with, you could share files around a facility very, very easily because you could have multiple of these dotted around your facility, um, all sharing and working on the same media. And likewise, I could be sat at home as a freelancer with an eight terabyte um, device sat on my desk and I can be pulling your media um, across, to my, across, to, across to my device. So this is really about um, that next step up, internal storage, um, again, working with um, a very efficient and small unit. Okay, so now we're in the, in the realms of multi-user. We're talking about um, lots of different people accessing that same unit. We're talking about um, simultaneously um, capturing the, um, footage onto, uh, or transferring footage onto that device. Um, it's obviously RAID 5, so it has additional redundancy on there as well. Um, and with this now, you're talking about capacity increase as well. So we're talking about 20 terabytes, 80 terabytes, and up to 320 terabytes. So we're talking about high volume, high speed performance. Um, you know, we're talking about the ability to saturate multiple 10 gig Ethernet ports, which means that the transfer speed on this now is super fast. Um, and um, you know, this is the sort of thing that you would use now in a facility where you're moving around large files, you're you know, sharing with multiple users. Maybe 
I've got a project and I'm working on a local network and I'm sharing with colorists, audio guys, um, editors, graphic designers, you know, this is all about um, being able to work in a real-time scenario, um, sharing all across the same device. Yeah, so the pod is, is where we would start. The pod is $495. Um, that means that you can start working within that, um, that cloud process straight away um, for less than $500. As we then step up to the Cloud Store Mini, which is the eight terabyte unit, we're now at $2,595. So again, it's very accessible to most people. And then as we move into the large um, Cloud Store device, we're now talking about a 20 terabyte device, which is $9,595. And then as we then move up to the 80 terabyte device, we're now talking $29,995. Now, obviously that scalability is largely to do with the cost of the storage, which is in the, which is in the unit. Um, and, as, and as we all know, storage is, is something that, you know, um, is, is, is quite, a, a, quite a costly investment but the, the storage that we obviously are working with within these devices is high quality storage. Um, and um, obviously when you talk about the price of these units comparative to what storage would be to go and purchase out there in the real world, it's, it's, a, it's a very competitive price and structure. Yeah, so when we look at the availability, the pod is actually available to order and to receive now, as is the Cloud Store Mini. Um, we have the Cloud Store products, the 20 terabyte and the 80 terabyte devices coming later. Um, and they're, they're not too far away, they're very, very close. Um, with the 320 terabyte um, Cloud Store, um, this is a build to order. The reason for that is that we want to see what the interest is there, how many people actually need it. Um, rather than building those units now and making those available from off the shelf, um, orders would be taken and we would ultimately build those um, as those are requested.